Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of DBX Models and today's episode I'll be unboxing this ANA Boeing 777-300ER BB-8 livery from InFlight 200. So let's dive straight to this video right now. Alright then, before I dive straight to unboxing this model right here itself, let me just show you guys the outside of the box itself. So basically outside the box itself, it's very very simple and it's just plain itself to be honest so basically on the outside of the box which you're looking at right now it just got the ANA logo with the Boeing 777-300ER and the tourist gear right down at the bottom itself plus also the, artic the article number which is the what this model is itself so basically it just got a very nice picture of the globe and basically this is the country which is this in general it's japan right here itself and you got china and korea on the side itself which is very all right i would say that for the box side it doesn't really blend in with what the aircraft is but at least it shows that is this is japan itself if you can say itself so yeah but um at the side there's really nothing much other than the plain white box which holds the main aircraft itself the main thing that it show you the uh the where the box art is is right at the top which you got the ANA logo itself with the tail fin more and more of the ANA details one the 200 scale and last and not least you got a Boeing 777 300ER and your article number itself right down below it is the same thing as the top so nothing much to show you guys about that uh, and lastly right at the back is just ANA that's all that's a blue and white uh, picture or wording of the ANA branding itself so yeah and that uh that's all for the box itself oh yeah and also the box is quite fairly worn really because i think this is quite an old model itself so it's definitely slowly falling apart itself so yeah but let me just slide the this thing out its uh sleeve and i could show you guys the model itself so just let me push this thing out and not drop it Put this one side and all right let me see whether i got this got this right yep i got it all right so basically this is what this is my bb8 livery triple seven from inflight 200 so basically lifting up the box that you got your st regular styrofoam thing protecting the top part and once you lift that up voila so yeah basically what you come what it comes with is your uh, your landing gears which is still brand new and haven't been placed onto the aircraft you got the white this stand right here which is separated from this part which you have to install it manually later on and you got the aircraft itself so let me just set this all up and i'll get get back to you guys in a moment time all right then so here is guys the bb8 Boeing 777-300ER from InFlight 200 itself. So basically, as you guys can see, this is how the aircraft looks like with its very uh with its BB-8 Libre right mainly the front half of the fuselage. So it's like basically just got some very nice detail of the Star Wars droid uh robot or whatever thing that you call itself on the aircraft itself. Uh, but one thing I noticed is initially my plan was not to display with the stand on cost i already planned it to put right beneath the ev jet but i noticed that uh there seemed to be some small issue with this aircraft itself because when i put the landing gears on it somehow want to tilt up by itself and it's like almost creating a tail strike scenario itself but uh not legit a tail strike right at the back it's like more like uh this area this back part of the triple seven itself is hitting the it's already like tilting hours so i don't really feel i don't really, really like that look so hence i said just go ahead with this kind of look so yeah uh but overall first impression wise i think i'm not too sure how this model uh will stand long like how it will survive long term wise but i definitely will need to keep an eye on this model itself because uh i think you know the landing gear right down below if you guys can see where the gears would normally be I think some of the metal parts like uh bending and bending out position really so that's probably one thing I have to take note 
off. So yeah, but other than that, for the time being now, I uh, like what I say for all my reviews itself, sorry, unboxing video itself, I at the moment I will save my opinion for all this, uh, all this opinion, sorry, all these reviews that I'm going to do on the aircraft probably down the line itself. So right now I probably won't share my opinion on all the models because I'm just starting to collect aircraft itself. So hence there won't be any review as of right now itself. So yeah, but on that, I think that's all I say for this video itself. If you guys enjoy the video, do click the subscribe button down right below to see more videos like this or click subscribe and please see my two other videos. And with that, I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.